So imagine the 1960s in Sweden, and somewhere in this weird Scandinavian land, my grandpa owned a tobacco shop. He had many customers who would come in every day and buy tobacco as usual, but one day a man came in and asked, would you like to buy a monkey? Now under any normal circumstance, there's a lot of questions you would ask this man or yourself, such as, where did this monkey come from? What would I need a monkey for? What kind of business leads a man to walk around and sell monkeys? But as it happens, this man had struck gold. My grandpa loved monkeys. For some context, this was the late 1960s, and the biggest thing around in Sweden was Pippi Longstocking, who had a pet monkey. So as far as anyone knew, monkeys were just these cute, lovable, innocent creatures. So my grandpa calls my grandma, who is at home, and asks, can I buy a monkey? Is, is it okay if I bring home a monkey, please? And my grandma thinks he's joking and says, yeah, sure, why not? Bring home a monkey. And immediately, the shop is closed, grandpa comes home with a monkey in a cage, and my grandma is understandably upset. This was not what she actually thought was going to happen. But what are you gonna do about it? Ask the mysterious man for a refund? So this was their life now. They owned a monkey. They had this monkey in a cage for six months, and not that that's an okay thing to do, but that was what happened. And the monkey was screeching all day, throwing poop, it was smelly, and my mom, who was a kid at the time, and my grandma, they hated it. But not my grandpa, who loved it more than anything. Eventually, my grandpa started letting it out of a cage every now and then, trying to get it accustomed to apartment life. And then one day, when he was watching TV, the monkey suddenly bit him in the heel. My grandpa lifted his leg up, the monkey still attached to his leg, and blood was pouring out everywhere. And luckily, my grandpa had researched macaque monkeys a little bit, and he knew this was when they intended to kill something. They will bite animals in their heels to limit their movement, and then they will slit their throats to kill them. So my grandpa covered his neck up, and right after, the monkey goes after his neck trying to scratch it, but it doesn't manage to. The monkey just gives up and goes back into the kitchen. By the way, as this quick thing happens, my mom is seeing all of this. And my grandma comes in having heard the commotion, and grandpa is bleeding all over the room, and everyone are screaming. My mom runs out of the apartment to go tell her neighbors, the monkey is loose! And everyone are looking at her confused, like, what? What's wrong with this kid? Grandma is calling 911 and yelling into the phone, that goddamn monkey, he finally did it, he's killed my husband! which only made the operator confused and assumed she was talking about some man. The ambulance and police arrive very quickly and my grandpa is bleeding out on the floor and the police ask grandma, well, all right, where did the man go? And she's like, hey, hey, the monkey is in the kitchen. And the police go inside the kitchen and there's a monkey in there. The police have no clue what to do. They were expecting a man, so they have to leave to get more policemen and a net to try and capture the monkey. Unfortunately, this did not work out, and the police instead shot the monkey dead. I know this sucks, but this was the attitude of the time. Can't handle an animal, just kill it. Grandpa is being transported to a hospital, the police carry out a dead monkey, and the neighbors are going crazy. They had heard a lot of screeches and weird noises the past months, but they were completely unaware there was a monkey in the building. As a result, this story became big, and it was all over the news. And even though no journalist got the chance to interview my grandpa, he is nonetheless quoted in the media having said, I want to get a gorilla next. And hey, says the press, maybe your neighbor owns a monkey, and you don't know it, and maybe that monkey wants to rip your face off, because turns out there's no law in Sweden about owning a monkey or any kind of exotic animal. So shortly after this incident, the news are circulating around, and quickly, a law is passed. Monkeys, along with other exotic animals, are now illegal to possess in Sweden. And as my mom grew up over the years, she would introduce herself to people, and they would often go, Hmm, that surname, I feel like I recognize that somewhere. So, have you learned anything from this story? Let's take a quiz now. A stranger offers you a monkey. Do you A. Refuse the animal? or B, traumatize everyone within a short radius around you, and live with that shame for years, although somehow managing to escape legal repercussions. I guess we might actually never know the real answer. Oh wait, here it is. C, properly consult your goddamn family.